Could a language model actually outsmart humans someday? This question is becoming more relevant with Clin's advancements in AI learning. Clin is a groundbreaking language model in AI, constantly learning and adapting to new tasks and environments all on its own. This is thanks to its pure zero-shot setup, which allows it to learn from interactions and feedback without needing extra adjustments. Let's take a closer look at what makes Clin stand out. I'll be explaining how it works and why it's such an important advancement in artificial intelligence. First, let's understand what Clin is and its function. Clin, short for Continually Learning from Interactions, is a system designed to help language agents quickly get better at what they do through repeated experiences. A language agent is essentially a computer program that communicates with the outside world in a way we can understand, like through text or speech. This could mean a chatbot having conversations with people, a video game character that follows your instructions, or even a tool that writes computer code. We actually need language agents like Clin because they can adapt to our complex and ever-changing world without constant supervision or retraining. Imagine a personal assistant that learns from your feedback to better assist you, a game character that evolves based on your play style, or a code generator that becomes more efficient through your corrections. That's the goal of Clin. To see how well Clin works, researchers used Science World, a virtual environment where the agent uses natural language to interact with objects and complete science-related tasks like growing plants or making ice cream. This tests Clin's ability to learn and adapt in dynamic scenarios. Science World is not an easy environment for language agents because it requires them to have both scientific knowledge and reasoning skills. Moreover, Science World has different levels of difficulty depending on the task and the environment. The tasks are divided into two categories, short and long. Short tasks are simple and straightforward, such as boil water or measure mass. Long tasks are complex and multi-step, such as grow a plant or make ice cream. The environments are also varied and diverse, ranging from familiar settings like kitchens or gardens to unfamiliar ones like deserts or volcanoes. Clin excels in science world due to its versatility in adapting to different scenarios. It's adept at learning tasks within a specific environment, transferring knowledge across various environments or tasks, and even handling situations that combine both adaptation and generalization. To start, Clin's ability to adapt is impressive. It learns from its experiences in a particular environment, becoming more efficient over time. For instance, in learning to boil water, it understands the steps and refines its approach, like turning on the stove and monitoring the boiling process. More impressively, Clin can apply its learned skills to new environments or tasks without needing extra training. For example, if it masters boiling water in a kitchen, it can use that knowledge in a desert using different tools. Similarly, if it learns to grow a plant in a garden, it can adapt this skill to grow one in a volcano with different resources. Lastly, Clin's most striking ability is in scenarios requiring both generalization and adaptation. It uses its broad experience to quickly adjust to completely new tasks or settings. For example, if it knows how to boil water in various settings and grow plants in different environments, it can combine these skills to brew tea on a spaceship. This capability to perform tasks it hasn't encountered before, known as zero-shot performance, sets Clin apart as a highly advanced language model. Clin stands out among language agents, especially when compared to models like Reflection, which also operates in Science World. Reflection is actually impressive because it can analyze feedback and keep its reflective text in an episodic memory buffer. But Reflection's adaptability is limited to specific environments, and it struggles with different tasks. Meanwhile, Clin surpasses not only Reflection, but also models relying on reinforcement or imitation learning. These models often need lots of training data and detailed adjustments, but Clin does well without any of these updates or tweaks making it both efficient and adaptable. Clin shines in several key areas. For instance, it excels in handling complex, multi-step, long tasks, achieving about 85% accuracy. This is much better than Reflection's 62%, indicating Clin's capability to manage more demanding tasks. In adapting to varied environments, Clin also performs strongly, maintaining around 79% accuracy, a significant improvement over Reflection's 54%. This flexibility means it can apply its skills in new and different settings more effectively. Moreover, 
When it comes to tackling new and unique tasks, Clint's ability to learn from experience is evident. It has a success rate of 73% in these scenarios, outperforming reflection, which scores 46%. This adaptability highlights Clin's advanced learning and application capabilities compared to other models. Clin is achieving remarkable results, and its success largely hinges on its innovative use of memory. It's fascinating to see how it learns, and here's an insight into how it operates. Clin operates with two distinct memory systems, global and local memory. Global memory is more long-term and dynamic. It holds what we call causal abstractions from past experiences. These are basically explanations of how certain actions lead to particular results. For instance, understanding that boiling water needs heat or that plants grow with water and sunlight are types of causal abstractions. This global memory is continuously updated with new, relevant information from each experience. In contrast, local memory is more short-term and focused on the specific task at hand. It records feedback from the current activity, giving Clin insights into how it's performing or what's happening in its immediate environment. If Clin is trying to boil water, feedback like the water is boiling gets stored here, or if it's caring for a plant, it notes if the plant is wilting. This local memory is reset and updated with fresh feedback for every new task. Now, how does Clin use these memories? Before tackling a task, it consults its global memory to pull out helpful causal abstractions. Say Clin is faced with boiling water in a desert. It recalls from global memory that heat is needed for boiling water. This helps it strategize, like figuring out how to generate heat in that setting. If the task is about growing a plant near a volcano, it remembers from global memory that plants need water and sunlight, guiding its actions to perhaps find water or shield the plant from extreme conditions. During the task, Clin also checks its local memory. This helps it adjust its actions based on real-time feedback. If it's boiling water and notices from the local memory that the water is already boiling, it knows to stop heating. Or if it's managing a plant and finds from the feedback that the plant is wilting, it might change its approach, like moving the plant to a cooler spot. This dual memory system is what makes Clin stand out. It doesn't just learn from abstract concepts, but also incorporates immediate practical feedback. This approach enables it to adapt its learning to a variety of tasks and environments, embodying the essence of a continual learning language agent. Now, understanding the way Clin learns compared to how we humans learn shows us both the differences and what's similar between the two. Humans and Clin both learn from their experiences, but we humans also mix in our emotions, thoughts, and social interactions, which adds depth to our learning. Our learning is shaped by many factors, which makes it rich and detailed, but it can also be a bit unpredictable at times. Clin, however, learns through set algorithms. It focuses on being efficient and can handle a lot of information, but it doesn't have any emotional understanding. This means, while Clin's learning is very precise, it can't really understand feelings or make ethical choices like humans can. Another key difference is that humans can change the way they learn depending on what works best for them in different situations. This kind of adaptability isn't something you find in Clin's algorithm-based learning process or in any AI learning process. Realizing these differences helps us appreciate what Klein can do with data and information, but it also shows us the special value of human intelligence, particularly when it comes to understanding emotions and making moral decisions. This comparison underlines that human learning and AI learning can complement each other, as both have their own strengths and weaknesses. I hope this sheds light on how Clin's memory systems function. If you have questions or thoughts, feel free to drop them in the comments. And for those curious to delve deeper into Clin, the original research paper is available in the video description. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.